Number 12, state which of the following species are amphiprotic and write chemical equations illustrating the amphiprotic character of these species. And then we have letter D. So the question is, is carbonate, CO32 minus, amphiprotic? Well, some teachers might say amphiprotic, some teachers might say amphoteric, or professors, if you're in college, amphoteric. Tomato, tomato, just a preference of what the word they use. Just know that these two words just means that a certain ion or a molecule can act as an acid and a base. So they have both properties. Just depends on the certain situation. So let's just run through what acids do, right? Remember, Bronsted-Lowry acid always uh, loses one H+. Plus. They donate the H plus to the, you know, the base, whatever is, you know, existing in that certain solution. So it gives up a hydrogen, it gives up a hydronium. They both mean the same exact thing. But basically, if you're losing a hydrogen, that means you got a hydrogen to give up, right? But if I'm looking at CO3 2 minus, I don't see any hydrogens here, right? There's no hydrogen in the front. There's not a hydrogen in the back. So how can I lose something that I don't have? You can't. So can carbonate ever exist as an acid? No, can't. And because of that, this question ends. <laughs> because if it can't act as an acid, it's not amphiprotic or amphoteric. So carbonate, CO3, 2 minus, is not amphiprotic. And therefore, we do not have to write chemical equations. Thank goodness. OK. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 20K. So that's all because of you guys. Thank you so much. It's crazy how far this channel has gone. And that's all because of you guys. Right? So thank you so much. Um, I'll see you guys later. Okay. Bye-bye.